here. Because we got all of these have been flat that we've done. They're a little round. These little small ones are round. This is a, a round front from a test tube. This is other tet. We we got a point to it. So the, that's another nice one. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, let me put a hug of weight lead on it. I always like the lead. I like the lead, but I gotta get a 3 sixteenths. Ready? All right, here we go. Let me pop this back out of here. Now, as far as that goes, go ahead, go ahead and glue the eyes on the lead. If you want them out a little bit farther, you can glue them on the tip. You know, it's it's what whatever you want to do. I got some black with sparkle in it. Not this my brother wanted black. He was out and he says everybody well they were spoons and for king salmon and he says everybody put a little black on it lures and they were getting them and he wasn't so he wanted black so I got some black. Just got a sparkle to it. Hi right, here we go. This one we're going to have to go this route. Alright, uh, this is the only one. Well, I wanted to see, like I say, I haven't tried these. Don't know how this is going to come out. I'm just going to strictly do this one with, with the eyes in it. And that's that one. Alright, we basically make a clean house. Let's see what we got here. That one, that one we're going to pour. We're going to pour that one. We're going to pour the big monster. Pour that one. Another small one. Small one there. And a small one there. All right. This is what we're going to pour, and we're going to see how they come up. Before we get to that, though, let's get to how I make my lead weights, which is... You know, I, I like to make everything. I, I get a kick out of making everything. So, all right, let me move. There's some other different side diameter lead weights. I make my own lead weight. Now, it's easy to make a mold. Let's start out with these bigger ones. I, I wanted a bigger, heavier weight. Okay. The way I make this mold, the first thing you got to start out with is some aluminum. I get the aluminum. Well, McMaster Car sells the aluminum. You can buy a piece of aluminum and just cut it up in the stock. We'll go to the junkyard, but it's best aluminum. You gotta get two pieces of aluminum. Other next hardest part is pitting them together, because you're gonna want these pieces so when you put them together, they go exactly the same spot together again. Now, I use quarter inch pins on there, quarter inch rods. The hardest part is getting some drills so when you put it in that there's not much slop in it. You don't want much slop. So I get the, you know, drill through all the way, put them together, drill through all the way through this side into there, put a pin in here too. Then when I'm done, I'll put that pin in, put a little tape on it so it goes together, and I'll drive it down, drive some notches down there to lock it. So I have a piece, of, basically I'd start out with a piece of steel that looks like that, a split in half. Next thing I did on this... Went ahead and got to drill some holes in here. And I started out with a, a quarter inch hole and not all the way through. Started out drilling. Quarter inch drill, you drill down to a certain point. I don't even drill all the way through. Drill down to a certain point with a quarter inch. Then I drill down to around this point with the diameter I wanted. This is, uh, I should think I should have a ruler here. This I drill with a three quarter inch drill. Now what it is, is the bottom of the drill is sort of flat. I didn't want it just flat. So what I did was, let's telephoto this in a little bit. Like I say, first the first drill, then down at this point with a three quarter inch drill. Then actually what I did was I ruined a big heavy drill. You buy cheapies or whatever, you know, get them junkyards. I went ahead 
and I took that big drill and I ground it. You don't have to be that accurate on grinding. But I ground it rather than this narrow like on this drill. I really ground it back so it came to a point. Then I drilled in the rest of the way, which is this area here, with that. Now, these were both clamped together at that time, so I ended up with a nice cavity up to that point. The last thing I did was I drilled that bottom hole. Or I drilled it from this side, small hole. This I went bigger because I, I, I used this 3 16 on this side. This side was just 1 8. Now, got a nice mold. Didn't really, I mean, you go to junkyard to get some aluminum and you got a little bandsaw, you can cut that. Now, next, this is stainless steel 1 8 rod. And I got 3 16 diameter 1 8 rod. Again, McMaster Car sells it if you want to go there, or, or any rod. But you want a rod. For my the 1 8 brass, I need 1 8. And for the 3 16 for the lead, I need 3 16 So what I do is drop that in. Hold that down, I got a clamp on that, put the little rod in there, and I pour it. Once it's set up, eh, let's, let's put it in here. What's that? Ah, I don't know, it's that one. A little snug, a little different after I took it out. Pour it in. After it's poured, I take it out. I pull the pin out. And basically, I have a piece of lead with a hole through it. Actually, this is a slip sinker. You could use it as a slip sinker. It's actually, the, the, the mold will come in quite handy. And it's easy enough to make. Now, that, that's these heavy ones. You could make this any size you want. This is, I don't know. Mm, let's do the tape. Here's the ruler. There it is. I could have almost gone up to two inches long, but actually these really come out at like an inch and three quarter long. That's how I make those bigger sinkers. Now this. This is two pieces of aluminum that I got. It measures uh, three and a half by uh, seven inches long. Any plates. Aluminum plates are three eighths thick. I, I picked these up. Basically the same thing. I, I put the two plates together. Come out a little bit. Put the clamp the two plates together. Then I go ahead. And when they're uh, clamped together, I drill quarter inch holes for my locking pins, my for lining up. Got that all set up so this thing doesn't move. Then I drilled holes in here. Now I don't know which one this goes into. All different holes. I think probably that one. And what I did end up with, let's telephoto this down. Little on a line. First, I went ahead and I drilled different size. Anywhere from, I, I have, these are 3 8 half inch. Over on the other side, I even got maybe some 3 16 holes. Just different diameter holes down through there. I got a different variety. Now, what I have here is, yeah, let's see, this is, that's actually almost a quarter right there. I drill that one while they were two clamped together around that deep. Drill that one, uh, what else did I got? Probably that one's probably a quarter of an inch. Uh, different diameters I drilled down. Now, some I even did a little sneaky like I did before was I drilled down with a regular drill and then I took a drill and I ground the end to give me more of a point. You can see how this has more of a point down here. But I ground that down. Now, the, this mold can serve three purposes. Really two purposes. Or two different kind of sinkers I can get from this mold. And keep in mind, you know, I'm only you're only limited on how big a sink you can make by the thickness of this material. I could have probably gone a little bit bigger here and made one a little bit, you know, maybe five inch diameter there, made it a little bit bigger. But that's your only limit. Now, actually, what I use this mold for, I pour same thing. When I pour these. 
clamp, put a clamp on here when I'm ready to pour. I drop a one-eighth rod down in there. Just let it set. And I gotta use these sort of very, very hold it together. Shoot my lead in there. Pour my lead. I have a number of these made up so I can go ahead and, and I have these all filled. And I pour all of them I can. After I take these out, pop it, pull it out. You don't have to even pour all the way down if you want. You can pour any length you want in here. If you do the full length, what, what you can do is, on the bandsaw, you can just cut these to the different lengths you want. So, I mean, you can make a long, long one, and then just cut it. Now, the other thing I do with this is I take some wire. You can probably even take a, a safety clip. You know, I, I, I didn't set here, but let's, let's use this as an example. This is actually a piece of solder. But some thin annealed uh, wire. You bend it up like that into a loop. You cut off one arm of it, or, or even both. It's, it's, it's smaller diameter, what I have. And what it is, is if you notice, I have these holes on the, on the bottom of this. They don't go all the way through. Some go all the way through. Some stop here with a round circle. I have this round circle and this smaller. What this is for, I can go ahead and I make up these little wires. Set the little wire in that mold. And let's trip it off a little. Set the little wire in that mold. And I load these, these. I load all of that. Put the two halves together. And pour it. And what I'll end up with is... Now, uh, let's just keep it nice and simple. I'll end up with a nice sinker. Now, you can see i got different diameter sinkers and different lengths I can pull. We use these on a, a three-way swivel when we fish and drag sinkers along uh, uh, the Niagara River for King Salmon. Three-way swivel up here with a line coming down to the sinker and then a trailing hook with egg sacs out here. We'll lose a lot of these. You know, there's a lot of rocks down there, there's snag. But I mean, so I, I, I can use this mold to make this. I could use this mold to make slip sinkers, different lengths, different sizes. This is a nice, versatile mold. Some of the molds I got have sold on eBay. This one I hold on to because I'll always, you know, I always use this one. All right. That's how you make an easy way to make your, your lead weights. Let's get on to making the hair. Like a 2 by 4 with some holes drilled in it. Now when I pour these things, they, they won't stay nice and level here and all this. So what it is, I drill these holes. And I just set it there. It'll hold it up nice and straight. I can drop it in. It allows for the little part to stick out. As long as they balance out all right. Actually, I could even just leave them there if I want. Uh, do I get enough made? Let's see. Round one, I didn't know how well that, that round one was going to stay up. And this one will just sit by itself. So, all right, we have our mold.